Hello, Mr. Lodge here again. So we're just going to go through this um, this question in your exam. Uh, this key skill here, which is designing an investigation, and it's that you know we did this in class, and it tells you to use the success criteria that we learned about in class, and a lot of people did do this and listed it out like this: corms. And that helped them score really well um, when they were doing this. So we just have to remind ourselves then, okay, every time we're going to get design an investigation, doesn't matter, design an experiment, doesn't matter what it is, what topic it is, I'm going to write out corms. Okay, so the C in corms stands for control. O, organism. We'll go through it in more detail in a minute. R repeats. M, the first one, measurements. Second M, methods. And the S is the same as your controls. Okay, we'll go through how to do this, but you know, this one was about biological washing powders containing enzymes. All we have to do is design an investigation to test the effect of temperature on the activity of the enzyme. So we're changing the temperature, we're testing the activity. So if we're gonna have a control, this is gonna be without enzymes. We have to have a control in order to compare, okay, what what was the effect of the washing with or without enzymes? Was there any effect at all? So the control is without enzymes. What we're we actually changing, because it could be control or change to the independent variable, is the temperature. Okay, and we could actually say, I'm going to do 0, 20, 40, 60 degrees, 80 degrees. They are the temperatures I'm going to test. The organism in this case, there aren't any organisms, but the biological entity, right, the biological agent here is the enzymes. Actually, write that down. That's our organism, or that's our biology that we're, we're testing today. Repeats. Minimum three times repeats some people said two no not enough it doesn't tell you that there's an anomaly which one's the anomaly for example minimum three repeats for every temperature so uh, zero you do three 20 you do three 40 you do three 60 you do three 80 you do three at each temperature okay M, so measurement, I will measure. That's how you start a sentence. A lot of people said, I will measure the time it takes for the fabric or clothing to become clean. Fine, brilliant. You could have said, I will measure the cleanliness of the clothing after two minutes. That's fine as well. Okay, and your method is going to be, I will measure, da da da, how I measure will be by using a stopwatch to time two minutes. I will take out the cloth, I will compare it to a chart, and I will give it a number between one and ten on cleanliness. Yep or I will time how long it takes for said cloth to become clean using a stopwatch. That is absolutely fine as well. Okay, the same, yeah? Controls. Control variables. Never, ever say amount. Uh, uh, wrong. Always say mass. Volume, I will control 
the mess of the clothing the mess of dirt on the clothing the the mess of biological washing powder the volume of water in the washing machine uh, the time it, i allow the washing powder to do its job all those things all those things are control variables so really important that you use that success criteria that's going to help you get six out of six for this question okay stop video Re rewrite yours get six marks out of six using that video